head to head to answer questions on a wide variety of subjects. And Kidman 27's Joe Avery shows us the competition is pretty stiff. The artist's own favorite. Can you name him? When the pressure's on, there's a lot of pressure. It's like nerve wracking, but exciting at the same time. It isn't about what you know, it's about how quickly you can hit the buzzer. Triple C? If, uh, if anyone in the team knows an answer for sure, we'll buzz in. You're close to winning and you, and you, you want to press and you're waiting for the question, you're waiting for the question, and then they give a question and you're like, oh great, what's the answer? If we're not too sure, we'll discuss first and then buzz as quickly as we can. I'm talking about what founder of Facebook? The moderator drawing questions from a wide array of subjects. It's not just math and reading, and so it's like more just knowledge, trivia of like everything. Chemistry. Religion to current affairs to science, math, uh, sports, um, history, uh, geography. Biology. Um, all kinds of random questions. That's actually very exciting. I've got the answers. KPMG managing partner David Forbes says getting kids excited about academics is fulfilling. Well, the kids are our future, and it's really exciting to be part of something where we can see you know, them develop, uh, give them an opportunity to shine, and, and really compete with each other. The second straight year, the team from Cayman Prep came out victorious. And can we also have the coaches from Cayman Prep as well? The winning team taking home iPad minis for their efforts. But one question stumped nearly every contestant. Name a television journalist in the Cayman Islands. Joe Avery, Cayman 27. Congratulations to the team from Cayman Prep, winners of this year's Brain Bowl. Cayman International School came in second place, and Grace Christian Academy placed third. Well, knowledge is power, and students from nine high schools are...